What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect, and it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, we have an HMT that is definitely going to have the uniqueness category added to it. But this goes to show you, once a man is thoroughly beyond his limit, anything, and we do mean anything, can be used as a deadly weapon, as the man in this article demonstrated that was published on the 30th of October. Man sentenced to life in prison for offlining his girlfriend with a zip tie. Yeah, gentlemen, you heard me correctly. A zip tie. Yeah. What more can be thoroughly said, gentlemen? The absolute ingenuity of a thoroughly pissed off man is absolutely mind blowing. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! A Jefferson Parish judge handed down a life sentence to Dennis Shepard on Monday, October 30th for the termination of his girlfriend. Shepard, 60, of Harvey, used a zip tie to suffocate Jaira Holmes on November 2nd, 2020, during a domestic dispute at her apartment in Harvey. Witnesses observed Shepard tightening the zip tie and pushing Holmes to the ground. After the act, District Attorney Paul Connick says Shepard was quoted by two witnesses saying, quote unquote, she wanted me deleted, now she's deleted. Okay, that right there is very chilling. However, the overwhelming majority of normies would fly right past that. Oh, no, 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 no. I would definitely want to get to the bottom of why he said that. There's definitely something that was going on behind the scenes that nobody wanted to talk about. And you'll see with the statements, especially from the judge. Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office deputies discovered Holmes' lifeless carcass in the driveway with a zip tie around her neck. Three days later, the U.S. Marshals Service Fugitive Task Force arrested Shepard in Bay, St. Louis, Mississippi. Following a brief 36-minute deliberation on September 28th, a Jefferson Parish judge convicted Shepard of second-degree termination, which carries a mandatory life sentence with no parole, or excuse me, possibility of probation, parole, or suspended sentence. During sentencing, Holmes' twin sister delivered an emotional victim impact testimony denouncing Shepard's actions as evil. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Now, let's go back to what he said. She wanted me deleted. Once again, completely glazing over that. What did he mean? Why did he say that? So, of course, 
You look at the individuals involved. Of course, there's a strag judge and she decides that she wants to throw her emotions into the situation. Quote, unquote, I hope the only mercy you get for the rest of your life is the mercy you showed my sister, she said. Judge June Barry Derensburg of the 24th Judicial Court dismissed defense request for a new trial and post-verdict judgment of acquittal. Now, once again, you look at the judge, you look at the individuals involved. Yeah, a black female judge, this man being a black man, Oh, you know, they were going to throw everything at him, including the kitchen sink. Quote, unquote, she had a full life ahead of her. She was very young. Judge Derensburg said, quote, unquote, to take someone's life, I would have to agree with the impact testimony. It was an evil act. Now, I find it very interesting that they did not say the age of, of said woman. Why is that? Hmm. Once again, I'm going to focus on the fact that he said that she wanted him deleted. And as we all know, in black America, if a woman really wants a guy, quote unquote, got she can always summon a Pookie or Ray Ray or Tyrone to do her dirty work. So once again, I'm going to lean towards there was something going on. There was some back alley deals going on. He found out about something more than likely. And she decided, you know what? I'm going to call in a Pookie or Ray Ray to possibly take him out of the equation. Sounds like a back door or, or excuse me, a back alley situation. They said she was young. How young? But then again, then again, in the black, in the American black community, young could mean anything under 75. Just saying, just damn saying. Oh, well, anyway. Let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down at her apartment. Got to give it a 15. Method of execution. The zip tie of zeroing. Because he definitely zeroed her life out. I'm going to give that a 20. Psychological impact. There were witnesses, so I got to give that a 25. For the brutality factor, you know she didn't willingly let this man put that zip tie on her. They were having a fight already, so I'm going to give the brutality factor a 30. And for the uniqueness factor, gentlemen, I must say, this is the first time I've ever heard of somebody getting taken out with a zip tie. So I'm going to give a 40 for the uniqueness factor. So Dennis, the suffocator shepherd gets a score of 130. Ladies, ladies, I know you won't listen to a warning from me. You won't listen to a warning from any man. However, you American women, you thoroughly believe that no matter what you do, especially American black women, no matter what you do, nobody is ever supposed to challenge you. Nobody's ever supposed to correct your behavior. What were they possibly arguing about? What was the domestic dispute about. See, once again, when you look at this article, they completely glaze over any and everything that could have possibly hinted at the woman causing her own demise. Do you really think this man went to her apartment to offline her? More than likely, no. However, I'm going to reiterate, in my humble opinion, 
this man probably found out something. More than likely, she was getting tagged by a Pukio Ray Ray behind his back. He's 60 years old. More than likely, she saw him as only, you know, Mr. Big, quote unquote. And he was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. But all in all, I'm just speculating. Well, I rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And to you women out there, this article serves as a prime example of something that I'm going to reiterate. When a man is thoroughly pushed beyond his limit, anything, and I do mean anything, he can get his hands on will become a deadly weapon. So you need to understand this, ladies, before you get into an argument with a man. The power you think you have by just being a woman and being programmed that men are not supposed to correct you or challenge you in any way, shape, or form, that has gone out. Feminism and the idea that men are going to restrain themselves when challenged by the modern woman, or should I say the modern fakely empowered woman, that has gone out right along with it. I've said this before, and I will continue to say this. More and more men day by day are releasing those chains of restraint. They're breaking them. Ladies, you don't want to live in a world where men no longer truly give a fuck. But guess what? This is the world that you have created and it is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up. Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.